great. Hi, Chelsea. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you today, Nicole? Oh, as good as can be. So, um, vault, 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 and vault. We've talked about a bunch of different things. We've talked about six, seven timers. We've talked about flipping vaults, and we're kind of going in a, a crazy order here. But why don't we go over compulsory front handsprings? There's a lot that can go on in a front handspring, and I don't think some people quite realize how many deductions, and, and specifically parents maybe, because sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, that vault looked decent. Why is it such a low number? Because um, there's a lot of deductions that we can take. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a lot. So yeah, the front handspring, you know, first and foremost, it's like, just we just want to see that. Like we talk about in our parent seminars, like if you see this position from beginning to end, that's a good start because we've got three phases of the vault and all these different joints in our body that can break this straight line, except for the wrist, that doesn't matter. And and then that can get hit three times. Plus we have some of the stuff is, you know, like feet on a, any other event is half a tenth every time, but then on vault it's a tenth. So all that form stuff and that breaking that line um, is crucial because you have three phases of the vault. It's not just one front handspring. Yeah. So where do you see the biggest uh, issues as far as form goes? Well, we see a lot. Sometimes we see a lot right um, off of the board. Pike on. That's that's yeah. huge. We can take up to five for how much you're piking onto the table. So if there's, I mean, if there's any hip end at all, we're going to take a little bit of something. But like I said, we can take up to five when we're piking on. And then if you're piking, you probably don't have a nice shoulder angle. So then we're taking shoulder angle, and then you're gonna be on the table for too long, you're not gonna get a good block. So everything that we've talked about before too, it just, it snowballs. But once you start and bring that tush in the air, we you, the vault isn't gonna be what we're wanting to see. Mm -hmm. And at least those first two phases are gonna be affected. So the first phase of being the pre-flight from board to table, then we have the support phase, which hopefully they're not really in supporting themselves for too long but that that point of contact with the table and then the post flight and with that pike you brought up the snowball effect of shoulder angle and if you have a shoulder angle you automatically your head is going to be out so there's another tent for for head position and then off the table so it's the cause and effect if you're going to pike on you're most likely going to be arching off definitely you, yeah you're not going to be able to get in a nice straight body block if you come onto the table with a pike. And then the arm bend. So we have, again, one of those deductions that's more on vault because you bend your arms anywhere else, it's up to three. You bend them on vault, it's five. You can just say, you bend your arms so much that your head touches the table, then you're in a whole other ballpark of deduction. And then we have what we keep coming back to with the rest of the vaults. We've got too long on the table, which is up to five. We've got angle of repulsion, which is up to an entire point. And we've got height in the repulsion phase, which is up to five. And then we've got distance, which is up to three. Yeah. Same across the board and huge. So you could have a straight body ball. You could have straight arms and, and nice body position and, and nice form. But then you've got, you know, these are the big ones. These are the big right. numbers that you play. Yeah. So, I mean, do you feel like, you know, when you're looking at maybe, you know, level level fives or kids that have been doing this ball for, for a few years, by the time the end of the season comes along and they're all straight and tight, this is where we're separating. That angle yep. of repulsion and height. The angle of repulsion and maybe even a little bit with dynamics there. Oh, dynamics, your favorite thing. My favorite thing, yes separators is the angle of repulsion and then the other is dynamics because um, in dynamics we have up to three and that is kind of discretionary how easy did they make look how much airtime did they get just what was the overall impression that that vault left us yeah I always think like with you know the vault is already strong and straight and powerful when I'm thinking about dynamics for the front handspring vault a lot of the times I'm, I find myself catching or noticing the sound of the vault. Like if it went boom off the table, like that, that was dynamic. I know that's not a textbook response to what is dynamics, um, but there's there's something about that, just that little extra oomph and that little extra power 
that um, feels dynamic. Um, and then we have our landings. You know, I think a, a lot of um, questions that I've heard about landings are, you know, where do you want their arms? Where do you, you know, because it, it comes down to technique. Are they turning in? Are they pulling back? Are they opening up? And, you know, people don't realize we're not allowed to judge technique anywhere. We, we can't say, oh, you, you shouldn't do a full like this. You should do a full like this, or you should come here. We're not allowed to decide that. It's, it's right. you know, did you execute it properly and, and high enough? So, so for, um, yeah, so for landing, it's like there's, yeah, there's preferences and there's how would I coach it or how would I teach it or, um, but at the end of the day, that really doesn't matter. They just, they need to be upright and like landing anything else, not in a deep squat, nice body posture. Um, and then, you know, where, where they are in relation to the table. But um, yeah, I just think it's interesting. I, I like talking technique and, you know, what do you like to see or how do you think it makes sense for progressions? But, you know, to go back to the question about what do you prefer as a judge? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> do what works. Uh, all right. Well, Excellent. it was a pleasure as always. Same. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> that was fun. And uh, I think we can move on from vault for next okay. week. And um, then you go to bars. So anybody that's watching, you know, let us know. We're, we've got a lot to talk about for bars and we've got a lot of levels to cover and we've got a lot of specific skills to cover. So if there's anything that you want to hear right away, please let us know. Chelsea, where can they find us? They find us at My Gym Judge. We are on Instagram, Twitter, and our website. Um, follow us everywhere. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, I will uh, see you next week, and hopefully we'll get this up shortly. Sounds good. Thank you. Right. Thank you. See ya. Yep. Bye. He took it away from you? Yeah. And hey guys, I'm trying to record something. Can we not yell? Oh my gracious. <laughs> we were doing so good. So many feelings. Oh my gosh. That's right, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure. <laughs>